Yo, what's going on everybody? Straw Hat Central here, and I want to say welcome to the channel. Currently, we're on our way to 1K, and I want to be able to hopefully hit that goal by the end of November. If you're someone that wants to help me out on that journey, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're already a subscriber, I appreciate you already, and leaving a like and commenting can still help me reach that goal. Yo, what's going on everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about Tiger Knee. Tiger Knee is a unique technique to be able to do air okay moves right off the ground. While it seems like a gimmick at first, it can be really useful in block streams to be able to open up your opponent, while also being really useful when it comes to converting into unique combo routes that are otherwise impossible. First, let's talk about how to do a tiger knee. Before you can do a tiger knee with any move, first you have to make sure that the move that you're attempting to do it with is air okay. And all that means is that it is a move that can be done while airborne. Once you have your air okay special move, what you do is you add the regular input of it. So if we're talking about chips diagonal alpha blade two, three, six K, which is a quarter circle motion forward and then press K. What you do for a tiger knee input of that same move is instead of ending on six or ending on forward for the quarter circle, you end on eight, which is top or at the very top of your D pad or up on analog stick. So the full motion would be a half circle going up to the top rather than just a quarter circle motion. An example of what it would look like is if you do chips diagonal alpha blade from the ground, a grounded version of you would go diagonally upward into the sky. However, if you do a tiger knee version of that same move, you end up coming diagonally downward on the ground. You can also control the height of your tiger knee of some moves depending on the timing in which you press 8 and press that final button. So for example, in the cases of chips horizontal alpha blade, you can do a horizontal alpha blade really low to the ground and let it still be a tiger knee or you can pause and leave a small delay between pressing eight and pressing punch, which is going to give you a tiger knee that is higher off the ground. Tiger knees are best used when used in a block stream. And the best places to use a tiger knee is when you're using a jump cancelable move, such as a close slash or 5k. Milia is one of the characters that get the most usage out of Tiger Knees as she uses that to get access to her Bad Moon special and her Fast Fall, which are used as mix ups in her block streams because it gives her access to a Fast Fall that gives her right next to her opponent to continue pressure and it also gives her access to an instant overhead with Bad Moon. Without using Tiger Knees, she wouldn't have access to either of these moves in block stream because these, both of these moves are air exclusive. She only has access to them while in the air. So a great example of usage or application of Tiger Knees to solve a problem or situation is in the case of Chip's Horizontal Alpha Blade. Chip's Horizontal Alpha Blade can be grabbed and mashed out of. And when you're dealing with an opponent that's able to do both, both of those things consistently, it can really make it hard for you to use that move at all. But if you use Tiger Knee on that move, it allows you to be able to blow up people trying to grab you and also get over some people's mashing. This works because an airborne opponent is throwing vulnerable, so that's why they can't throw you. And when it comes to mashing, if you do your tiger knee at the correct height, you should go over their jabs. Most people spam 2P to try to mash you out of your alpha blade just to make sure that they get you because some people's 5P may whiff and not hit you. So because people are spamming 2Ps, if you do that tiger knee at the correct height, you'll go right over that 2P and still be able to hit them. Tiger Knee of Chip's Horizontal Alpha Blade also gives Chip access to a new combo confirm where he can use 2K, 2K, and then go into 2 slash into his normal combo route. So this is really good to know because that allows you to convert off of uh, Alpha Blade in neutral without using meter. This Horizontal Blade Tiger Knee confirm can work mid screen and also work in the corner. It's just important to kind of know your range in which you use Alpha Blade because if you use Alpha Blade too close to your opponent, you'll be put too far away from them in the end to be able to continue the combo. So just playing with that range of using Alpha Blade at max range to be able to punish people is something that's going to be essential for you to know as time goes on. So the thing about Chip's K Alpha Blade or Diagonal Alpha Blade is that it is also a cross up. So for people to block it, they have to switch to blocking on the other side to be able to stop themselves from getting hit. Most players that have been around for a little bit know that and are able to block K Alpha Blades when they see them. However, using a Tiger Knee K Alpha Blade, it gives you access to a same side Alpha Blade. So it is a pseudo or double fake out because when the people see an Alpha Blade, they think they have to switch blocking to the other side. However, a Tiger Knee K Alpha Blade will make you land on the same side and also make your opponent have to continue blocking on the same side that they've been blocking. 
Tiger Knee K Alpha Blade also puts you right next to your opponent in the perfect throw range. So often if I get someone to block that Tiger Knee K Alpha Blade, I'm able to quickly go for a grab before they realize what actually happened. While it is cool and it does have its uses, I will warn you that using Tiger Knee K Alpha Blade can be really risky if your opponent has seen it before or know that it's coming. The reason why I say that is because they can mash you out of it and it's also minus if they block it, so if they're ready for it, they can easily throw you instead. And this isn't something exclusive to the chip. Like, the same thing applies to Milia's Tiger Knee move as well. If Milia is doing her Tiger Knee fast fall, she's wide open during the whole duration of that fast fall. So opponents are free to throw her out of that pressure or just attack her out of that pressure. The key to using these Tiger Knee inputs in block strings is to catch your opponent off guard to reset your pressure or to open them up without them being ready. But this is fighting games. Just because something has a weakness or there's an answer to it doesn't mean that it's a bad option or you, that you shouldn't use it. You just need to understand how you can play around that. So if you have an opponent that likes smashing or an opponent that likes trying to throw you out of that pressure again, rather than doing the Tiger Knee version of it, you just do the regular version of it and continue to do that until they start respecting it again. And once they start respecting it again, then you could go for the Tiger Knee. The reason why this works is because regular diagonal alpha blade beats smashing and grabbing attempts. So your goal should be to see if your opponent can handle regular alpha blade first, regular diagonal alpha blade, if they can block that consistently and they're having no problems doing anything about it, then you add in the Tiger Knee version of it to see what they do in response. If they let you get away with it, then you continue to do it. But if they start to mash on it, then you switch back to the regular one. Lastly, as an advanced tactic, Tiger Knee can be used as a mix up opportunity when you include it with Roman Cancel. So one thing that I like to do personally is I like to use, well, cancel my Close Slash into my Tiger Knee Horizontal Alpha Blade. And from there, I use Roman Cancel to then uh, keep myself on the same side and use Shuriken to then fast fall and continue my pressure all on the same side. This works because most of the time when people see Alpha Blades, they think they need, they need to switch back to the other side, but this quickly allows me to continue my pressure with Shuriken, keep me safe, land, and then continue my pressure. If you guys found any new information in this quick tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe so I can keep making these and pumping them out for you guys.